So in this video, I'm going to go through optimizing your LinkedIn company page. So if you're on LinkedIn, obviously you're trying to get more exposure, get more customers, hire more people, and uh, hopefully just overall build your brand through LinkedIn, which is one of the best places for B2B marketing and advertising. So um, first things first, obviously, if you don't have that LinkedIn profile, you can create a company page. Obviously, you'll need a personal profile. You see I'm logged in right here. Uh, my name is Mac with Momentum Digital, obviously. For business, you can create a company page. Obviously, if you already have one, you can skip past this, but it's pretty easy. Do a company page, showcase or institution company page. Just fill out the obvious details here, business name, address, URL, industry, organization size, type, files, tagline, and just go through those next steps. Now, once you have that company page, under the dropdown for your profile, it'll show, the, show you the pages you're an admin on. So if I go to Momentum here, uh, we can talk about optimizing that page. First thing you see right away, you know, LinkedIn's really pushing people to uh, add more content from their company pages. So that's the first thing you'll see. You can upload photos, videos, do polls, or write articles, which do really well. Um, the three things doing really well for LinkedIn posts right now are video, and you can go live on LinkedIn too. Uh, polls, you know, asking questions, getting responses. It's a quick, easy engagement tactic. Or write articles. These are like long form blog type content that you can add photos, um, embed things. It's really nice and appealing for people if they wanna read long, long form content. On the right hand side you can see your analytics pretty straightforward and you can add a lead gen form which is pretty unique so you can enable this choose a call to action you know you can do a free trial if you have a, a free trial page slash free dash trial you know get a free seo audit take your business higher you know add a call to action here and you can have uh completely set that up which is pretty cool i'm going to discard that for now but this is from the edit section right here. Before you jump to that, you can add a cover photo and logo. So make sure it fits the file size here recommended. Um, you know, you don't wanna have things cut off. <coughs> I probably need to upload our logo and cover photo, it's been a while. And you can have featured content. Um, so the featured content, basically if you use something you wanna feature, the first thing people see, uh, you can choose a post that's most recent. Uh, you can also choose posts that you were tagged in, which is pretty cool. Um, so have some featured content, it's really unique. Uh, you can show your feed here um, you can see what different comments and activity you're getting from the feed that things you were posted or tagged in analytics is pretty straightforward you can see how many visitors how many followers how many leads you can track competitors which is pretty unique so we chose some competitors here um, so i can pull in some data from competitors which is pretty nice um, employee advocacy i'm not really sure what this is but you can see uh, if employees are i guess commenting or representing and tagging your business uh, to optimize the page, you wanna to go to edit page. Uh, you wanna add a description. Try to use as many characters that they allow you. So that way you can rank for more content. Make sure to add your URL to your website. Uh, choose your industry, obviously, a lot of the things you set up in the beginning. Business name, address, phone number, and you can choose specialties. Now choose as many specialties that relate to your business here. So for example, um, let's say we do uh, graphic, oops, graphic design, uh, let's say, um, Google Ads. These will th be things you can show up for in search results if people are searching on LinkedIn. Optimization. So make sure you choose as many as possible here. Uh, you can save that section. Uh, next you can go to page info. So this just shows how your page will show up. Tagline, logo, name, description, URL. Buttons. So you can customize your buttons to follow or visit the website. Um, you can have register, learn more, contact us. Uh, you can go to the Feature tab, so you can create that featured image, post, etc. that I mentioned. The overview we talked about, interested talent. Um, so this needs a career and LinkedIn recruiter subscription. Obviously, if you want to uh, post that you're hiring and promote that, uh, LinkedIn's making a lot of money off promoted posts for hiring. Uh, workplace, um, so this is a new module. So remote, we hire remote, you know, contractors as account managers, project managers and marketing specialists you can add a link to that page where you're hiring uh, let's see if we even have that marketing account manager so you can put the link to that position which will get more exposure check our website for more details you can add benefits all those different things based on you can add different things here save that uh, next, you'll see commitments and locations. I'm not sure what commitments are, but we'll check that real quick. Um, promises to employees. Okay. 
So it's pretty neat. So you can add and customize that. If you have multiple locations, this is really important. So you could add different locations and verify those. And then the lead gen form I mentioned earlier. And if you have multiple languages, you know, English is primarily what we're going to be using here. Um, start a post and post something about how you made these updates. You know, they're just trying to get some more activity on the profile. Uh, make sure to encourage employees, partners, clients to tag you in their content. That'll drive more activity to your page and really focus on video polls and articles like I mentioned and track your activity. Make sure your employees have it in their profile that they work for this company and really encourage them to tag you in posts and content and media that they post on LinkedIn. So all that stuff's really important to get more exposure and more engagement on your LinkedIn profile, which will attract more organic traffic, more potential customers, and also more partners and employees or contractors to work for your company. I hope this helps. You know, we don't have a ton of followers, but you know, if you follow these tactics, including myself, you know, you'll have a lot more success. And then if you view it as somebody, you can kind of see what your page will look like and all the different details here, you know, home, about the company, um, different posts and content that have been created, the types of jobs that are post. These really get pushed out once you start paying for them and then the people that work for your team. So I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.